Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to export data from your table in Power BI and send that as an attachment to your mailbox. So we will be achieving this using Power Automate. So let's get started with this tutorial. So I have a table over here which contains all the uh, columns here that I am interested in sending this particular table as an attachment to my mailbox. So what I will quickly do is I'm going to create a copy of this particular table so that this will save me some time in creating or adding in the columns into a Power Automate visual. So once I have created a copy of this particular table, I'm going to go here under build a visual and change this into a Power Automate visual. So by doing this, I don't really have to bring in the columns that I need to export again into this particular visual and now you're not able to see anything as a background of this power automate visual is because i had turned off background in this particular table over here so i'll quickly go into the format tab over here under size and style i'm going to turn off the turn on the background and over here you will see that power automate visual is saying that it's going to create a button over here which will trigger the automated task so now let me click on the ellipses over here and select edit once you are in this particular screen over here, let's click on new and choose instant cloud flow and let's add a new step now. The first step that we will be adding over here is initialize variable. Choose initialize variable over here. Let's give it a variable name. In this case, I'm going to call this as sales table and then the type here is going to be an array. The value, you can leave this as a blank. I'm going to add a new step now and now let's search for append to array and under the actions over here let's choose the first one that is append to array variable and under name over here let's select the table that we created or the variable that we created over here which was sales table and under value over here this is where we will have to define our variables that will go into a csv file so this is basically a json input so i'm going to open curly bracket and close curly brackets over here and within the curly brackets over here I need to define all the columns that will go into my table. So I'm going to open double quotes over here and then type in my first column name which was uh, country in this case. So I'm going to type in country, I'm going to close the quotes over here, give it a space, type in colon here and open quotes again and under dynamic content over here I'm going to type in country. So this will now bring in the column from my table that we had in our Power BI table. And now once after you have inserted this, I'm going to close the quotes over here followed by a comma. And then let's add in the second column which is order ID. Close the quotes, give it a space, enter colon, open quotes again. And over here let's search for order ID and I'm going to select the order ID over here. I'm going to close the quotes followed by a comma. I'm going to repeat this for all the remaining columns over here. Now that I have entered all the details of the columns that I want in my table, I'm going to click on new step over here. And in this new step, I'm going to type in create CSV. And over here, you can create the first action which says create CSV table. In the from section over here under dynamic content, let's choose the sales table variable that we created and now I'm going to add a new step and let's type in send email and choose the second option over here which says send an email v2 and in the to section over here, I'm going to mention the email ID to whom I want to send the email to, enter the subject over here, let me just call this as sales table and enter the body, hi and click on show advanced options. So this is where you can define the attachment name. In this case, I'm gonna call this as sales underscore table, sales underscore table dot CSV. Make sure that you enter the extension of the file as well. It is important. And under attachment content over here, let's choose the output from our CSV table. And once this is done, you can now click on save. Our flow is now complete. What you can now do is rename this particular flow if you would like to call this as sales export CSV and then I'm going to click on save and once this is saved let's hit on save and apply and now it says I have successfully applied let's go back to our report you will see that a new button has been created over here let me just resize this particular button over here 
and let me come to the country slicer that I have. Let me choose a country from this slicer, let's say China for example and under item type I'm going to select beverages. So I have these few rows over here that I want to export or send that as an attachment to my mailbox. What I will now do is I'm going to click on run flow. It says it is triggering and in a couple of seconds it will change to triggered and then let's jump back into my mailbox and wait for a couple of seconds for the email to arrive. Okay, the email has arrived. Let me open the file that we have sent as an attachment and you will see that we have all the rows from the country China and of course we don't have the uh, category over here but this is for the beverages category that we exported. And now let's say you don't want to filter anything from here but you would want to select some of the records that you see in this particular table and export only those records into a CSV file. So let's say for example I want to export um, rows from Nigeria, let's say Spain and then let me scroll down I want Libya and then let's say I want uh, Albania and now I have selected those four records over here I can now click on run flow it says triggering and in a couple of seconds it will change to triggered and you will see that there's a new email that has arrived with just those four rows in my CSV file. Isn't this really cool? Let me know what you think of this process flow of uh, creating a CSV file and sending that as an attachment to your email. I hope you will find this helpful at your workplace. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, you learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.